next is Joanne Furman, and your poems are placed next to Michael Holden's. So you could present together or separately. Um, Michael, do you want to talk first or do you want me to read first? I guess um, I was going to read um, not this poem, but the Are We Having Fun Yet? Okay, there we are. Um, it's a, okay, I'll read this. Wow, that's a cool picture <laughs> with it. I like the, the feeling. Um, it, it almost feels like a merry-go-round. Um, okay, which is cool. All right, so this poem is called Are We Having Fun Yet? And I wrote it for a reading series that Albert Mobilio curated where he asked everyone to write a poem on the theme of fun. So I wrote a Sistina where the word fun is embedded in all of the end words. And for the non-poets here, a Sistina is a form of poetry where there's um, seven stanzas, but for six of the stanzas, they're the same words that repeat over and over again. So in this case, like defunded, funneling, funky, malfunctioning, you'll hear it. Um, okay. Are we having fun yet? Every year, our belief in the future is more defunded. We try embracing the spaces in austerity's lace, funneling chaos into kaleidoscopic slivers, into funky prepositions, bumping their hopes against malfunctioning doors, traveling skyward on rickety funiculars in pre-gentrified cities. If we are fundamentally timeless, can we still be damaged by time? Fundamentally, we morph like financial products not yet defunded, delicate enough to balance on the roof of a funicular, washing the debris of the past through a funnel. We find joy in the smell of malfunction, creeping through consciousness like funky caterpillars. Is this shifting the reason today's funky music sounds like yesterday's dirge? Fundamentally, we are itinerant nitwits, malfunctioning in rumpus rooms, dim-witted and defunded. We scurry through cities and funnel adorned fedoras, hijack trackless funiculars, helicopter into funiculars, not really crashing, more like funky lovemaking than disaster. We funnel the debris to create worlds, fundamental as strangers to our defunded metropolis. We wait for a malfunction. Who doesn't love juicy malfunction? The way it, the way they hang off the back of the funicular debris sticking to the tendrils proud yet defunded. We don't care about propriety anymore. Our funky scent drips over our nation, new and fundamentally free, like space and time, departing a funnel and drifting apart, no longer needing to funnel meaning from the objects that malfunction. We unleash our butterflies into fundamentals, waiting before we exit this interatomic funicular, celebrating the spaces between teeth, the funky breath of abject freedom. We embrace defunding. Fundamentally, can't we do more than funnel our hope into malfunctioning vessels? Defeated, defunded, how oh, funked, even a broken funicular can be fun. And I was gonna put something into the chat too. Um, so I made a video of the poem um, here. It's, you can see it later. <laughs> so the video is like, um, uses pictures of Lego cities because I was thinking of like Lego being similar to a Sistina. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. Oh, Michael Holden. Oh, Hi. okay. We can hear me now. Yeah. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay. Uh, Sorry about that. No worries. Um, so this painting 
is titled Origin. Um, it, the, it makes sense with the poem as far as the playfulness uh, because uh, my daughter uh, changes uh, my, my experience in the studio quite often when she um, enters it. And so I had started this painting and she wanted to paint on the painting. So I encouraged it. <laughs> and uh, so this was the first painting that she used oil paint um, and she made some marks. And then as I proceeded with the rest of the painting from that point on, I tried to make sense of what she had done and what I had done and to move on from there. And so origin being the origin point on a graph, the center point and origin being uh, where we come from, our origin. So on the left-hand side, uh, I, I see the left and right hand side as being kind of land masses in a mapping sort of way based on the graph and then figuratively as a male and a female and the origin being this uh, uniting of those um, two forms suspended in water or air and this kind of aneba of sorts in between them. And so um, that's pretty much it. Do you want to talk about any of your other paintings? Sure. Uh, so this one, Portal, um, it's kind of trying to get away from the, the um, sense of realism and, and, and in the narrative and just uh, see it more abstractly, although there are elements that still become figurative or um, I think sometimes the narrative, just how people see an image just goes one way or another and becomes a narrative. But uh, I guess I was just trying to penetrate the veil of the surface. Um, and opposing the, in a similar way to the last painting, actually, the left side to the right side, and, and possibly seeing it as a male female relationship, um, but ultimately as like a, a window, a portal in, uh, into um, a space. Trying to, to actually uh, see it without interpretation, actually. That's it. Thank you.